Oh, jeez. There you are. By verity, by strength. What are we contemplating today? I'd like to know something about those I'm flying with. What's your story? Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Violently enthusiastic disposition? Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. Oh? Uh, were they not religious? On the contrary. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith, a faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. But weren't they proud when you became a vicar at least? They thought I was fighting the plan, should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige, but that was not me. What's this plan you keep talking about? The simple version is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created the universal equation that underlies and defines everything in the universe. Everything flows mm. from the equation, or in layman's terms, the Grand Plan. Is the Grand Architect a consciousness? A natural force? Did it create the equation on purpose? The answers to these questions don't really matter. The equation, the plan, is all that matters. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in the plan. Mm. That's a convenient way to control the masses. It can be, if abused. But that can be said about anything. However, in the case of the board and Halcyon, sadly, I believe you are correct. Seems quite trusting of you just to sign on without knowing anything about me. I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. This book is my last hope, and you were my only hope of getting it translated. Seems a bit extreme. I've been called that more than once. What about you? What's your story? I was calling us on hope. A scientist named Well Oh Well saved me. And how did he do that? He stole my body from the hope from the hope at the edge of the colony and thawed me out. Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Let's pretend for the moment I believe you. What are you going to do now? I'm helping him recover more of the chemicals he needs to save the rest of the colony. That seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? My friends are on... Okay. Because it's the right thing to do. A commendable attitude. Tell me again about the book. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's Blast perception it, man. of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the philosophist school of thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Cheers, everybody. There we go. <clears throat> Remind me, what are your thoughts on philosophism? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Any ideas where we can find someone who speaks French in this colony? I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate... 
uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. That seems like a long shot. What makes you so sure? Oh, I'm anything but certain. But it's all I've got at the moment. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data ah. cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. How will crew manifests help us track down your scholar friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. How is it that a simple Vicar happens to be such a highly skilled hacker? Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Sounds good. Thank you, Captain. Well. I'll leave that food in there for everybody. God, always use, gotta use the toilets. Okay, it's done. Done. Job's done. Okay. Just. Messages for Alex Hawthorne. Unread messages. Oh, I forgot to mention in my previous messages, silly me, I'm, I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial. The Space Ventures of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing ace pirate you know, with a heart of, well, steel. Not exactly uh, board approved. So don't you go showing it around to your space buddies. I hope it will amuse you. There's still more archive messages. Bedford. I can't tell you how pleased I am to finally hear from you. The messages that are were as hilarious. I'm delighted by your sense of humor. Okay, I'll take them. Anyway, I hope your meeting on Terra 2 proves fruitful, and I look forward to corresponding with greater regular regularity. Good effort. I don't. I don't know where you are. Where you were raised, but I'd hazard to guess it may have been a barn. Because anyone with even a modicum of decent rearing would know it's unforgivably rude to ignore the ardent, sincere messages of one's friend. Hello, hello. Hope this finds you well. It was a pleasure to see you in my office again last week. But once again, I'm terribly sorry about the compounding mix-up. How could it happen the second time? How could I sometimes discuss? No, well... You know about the Wells fellow, I'm sorry to press, but I have the strongest tickling feeling that you really do know him. Well, if you could just tell me where he is, well, it would be marvelous for our friendship, wouldn't it? Looking forward to seeing you again. Wing. Hello, Wudum here. Wudum Bedford, we met when I accidentally impounded your, impounded your ship. My silly fat fingers embarrassing me once again. I hope that wasn't too terribly inconvenient. If you're in Groundbreaker's airspace, well, space, mm, space, space, 
Uh, space. Yeah, space, space. Please don't hesitate to look me up. Log. Don't you log? Shrink ray. <coughs> Shrink ray. Maximum point. And uh, I hammer power last time I got lost. I mean, was it imbibing at the last hoop on the groundbreaker? Okay, and I shamelessly, hmm, but suddenly eavesdrop, hmm, easily drop on tube. Hard is yammering on about my scientist. All right. First Sam result. Ooh, this, okay. Do not forget you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance automechanical and emerald veil scrap heap during your last job. It should not be too difficult to get it up and running. With a few key modifications, I can envision a combat, ca combat capable variant, some might say, a clean, mean killing machine. It'll be fun. Second stem result. Remo removal of factory standard part SUDS steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modified replacement part acid steeper has been delayed. Progress setback is estimated now, now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to. Ah, uh, but I... Ah, uh, but I do. Third stem result. Oh, I'm giving up hope on the on the delivery. The part is lost in transition and it's not turning up any time soon. But good news, I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an acid steeper. I can if filch. Uh, the part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following this next pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. Oh, okay. Uh, acquire any science weapon. Oh my god. Weapons from the void. A log found in the captain's terminal on the unreliable mention finding a powerful weapon. Perhaps the Halcyon colony contains other weapons which Ah sorry. Okay then uh the cleaning machine. Unoffered san sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical on the unreliable. Okay. Ask ADA about the SAM unit. Uh, find out. You found entries on Hawthorne's terminal in the captain's quarters regarding this attempt to turn Hawthorne planned to replace Sam's SUDS steeper with an asset steeper, but never picked up the part from Roseway. I think we need to go to Roseway, chat. What do you think? I think we need I think we need to go to Roseway. Just to warn you, we may have a bed bug infestation. I am investigating non-toxic extermination measures. Non-toxic to you, I mean. Oh. Well. That's something. Anyways, uh breakdown a lot of weapons but break down auto mag pistol I'll hold on to that yeah we can get rid of that there's a uh, like okay modify 
Repair, please. Oh, yes, repair. Good enough. Inker. Masato shotgun, do you want to tinker the side off a shotgun? It will cost 51 bits. Yes. <laughs> I can do this so much. Oh my. Oh my. Huh. Better save my bits a bit. Do it. 96. Okay. I like that. Okay. This gun is becoming powerful. Okay. Modify. You. He's already got an extender sight. To shock. Plasma means it burns. Uh, electrical charge that uh, charges that chamber around immediately before firing upon impact. The round discharges electrocuting the target. Could do that. But I think I'll keep it as is. I'll probably do that with... Uh, this weapon. Nah, that's a shotgun. Oh, wait, actually, that sounds pretty freaking good. Do it. Boom. Oh, uh, what about armor? Dodge plus seven. Oh, really? Oh, stealth? Oh, man, I don't... Oh, that reduces my stealth skills, like, really bad. Actually, okay, so what is this? Uh, radius of footsteps. Okay, then we have melee weapon skills plus five, defense skills plus ten. We have range weapon skills plus five, which I might do. Tech kit, tech skills plus five. Done. Okay. Hold on. Was it really only to... Oh, no. So... Armor... Oh, it only... Okay. Wow! Okay, we're not doing that again. <laughs> Okay, ah, oh, screw it, doing it. Boom! 102 damage with burn on top of it. Wow, okay, yes. Uh, you, and another one. Boom. Boom. 
Okay, I need to give her some armor. Volume of footsteps? No. Uh, skills. Melee weapons, defense skills. Yes. Boom. Done. Transition, transition to the water landing pad. Okay, we're not going to do that. Oh, okay. Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why did he make the computer a talkie? You think he got lonely flying about on his own? Interesting. Maybe. That might have been it. That might have been it. But let's go ahead and go to uh, Roseway. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Know anything about the auto-mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning sand. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your Already captain's have? quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. I'm in, I'm in a good mood for some entertainment. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Tell me a joke. I wish I was your second derivative, so I could investigate your concavities. <laughs> I'm gonna play my favorite You're song. Playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. That. Oh Everyone God. in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. That's As enough. You wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Got a minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. What if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? I guess so. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Oh. What about your last captain? Captain. Do you miss him? Or is he one captain of the same and a or is one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you Aww. may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Have there been other captains of this ship? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? I'd like to learn more about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss?
Uh, Phineas Orbital Lab. Ah, uh, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on. His more so than most. Why is that? The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas V. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Even knowing the location, my systems resist my orders to go where I instruct them. What do you know about Phineas? There is a bounty on his head, one with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? No, do not do that. A sensible choice, as we do not have any laser weapons. <laughs> and if I had picked it, she would have said, Forgive me, but we, unfortunately we do not have laser Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Groundbreaker. To dock with the groundbreaker, if that's your desired destination. If we're I'm going to be honest. Please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate. With, with or without beer. The Mardets take their docking laws quite seriously. Without without drinking, this would still be a little really much for me. If we're going there, uh, please be sure, to, uh, sure all docking forms have been filed out. Um, you can take care of that for us, right? I can, yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. Great, thanks. You are more than welcome, Captain. Right, give me this. Uh, give me this. Be on the groundbreaker. The groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms in triplicate, and fees have been paid. Yeah, let's ask about something else. How can I be of assistance? Certainly, Captain. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct What part of the- Where in Terra 2? Edgewater is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale, or it was when first built. Since then, neglect and time have worn away her shiny veneer. The town is near the coordinates where Captain Hawthorne died. It would not be unfortunate if something, like, say, a plague, were to wipe Emerald Vale from the face of the planet. What do you think it... How was Edgewater for, er, um, faring since we left? Since you diverted power to Edgewater, the botanical lab shut down, and the deserters were forced to return to town. Meanwhile, the cannery's output increased, enabling the town's population to prosper. Thank you for nothing, Captain. What would you? What would you have had me done? Kill everyone? I cannot say. First, I need to adjust my memory interpretation sensors, but I think my answer is yes. What do you think of the townspeople? You mean the ones who did not answer my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to issue my injured captain a parking ticket? I'm sure they are wonderful humans who don't deserve to be wiped out by starvation or a devastating plague. Let's talk about something else, if there's anything else. I'll talk to you later, ADA. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Okay. Oh.
Welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the plans in the system as well as some special points of interest that you have may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location that you have unlocked, though some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. What? Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous and all employees are encouraged to remain at, remain home or at work. Oh, wrong button. Uh, the cleaning machine. Roseway. We need to make our way to Roseway, but unfortunately, Roseway doesn't look like it's here. Tartarus. Huh. Warning. Dangerous. Okay. Where's Roseway? Huh. Interesting. So if we go to here, weapons from the void. Okay. We need to go to the groundbreaker anyway. So here, all, most of our quests are on groundbreaker. Uh, and maintenance, if you can get it running again, it may prove useful. But never picked up from, picked up the part from Roseway. Where's Roseway at? Is it a planet or is it a... Warning dangerous. Scylla landing pad. Wow. But wow. That's a lot of stuff. I guess where we have to go is uh, Groundbreaker. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Okay. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Take care. I... Okay. Now we're here. Got a sec? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. I thought you said... Yeah. Sure, we could head over to the engineering. Yeah, I thought you said you could keep this boat in good... Fair. I abso surely can. I'm a passing fair mechanic. Even Mr. Thompson would have said it's my only skill. But I'm used to working on cannery lines, AG loaders, and the like. There's tricks about ships I ain't learned yet. All I'm looking for is a few pointers. I bet a lady who runs a whole station has forgot more than I ever learned. Yeah, sure we can head Thanks, over. Thanks, Captain. 
I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Nah. We're good. All right. Now that we made it to this, this area, now we go have ourselves a talk with everybody. On Monday. Thank you guys for coming out to the stream. Hope you had yourselves a fantastic time. I gotta get going because I got a, mo a lawn to mow. I got some life stuff to do. But anyways, tomorrow will be a full Dragon Age stream. Uh, about six hours because you know what? I really like that game. I want to get back into it a little bit. <clears throat> so, yeah. Tomorrow will be Dragon Age. Uh, about... Six to eight hours, depending on how things go. Probably just going to be like six hours like today. Because uh, tomorrow is a birthday. So, without further ado, thank you guys for coming out to the stream. Hope you had this was a fantastic time. And hope to see you guys again next time. And as always, chat, stay active and stay connected. And as always, stay active. I think I'm on a loop here. Crap, I'm on a loop. No! Anyways, thank you guys for coming out. As always, stay active and stay connected. I'll see y'all next time. This is Zircon, signing out. Bye, y'all.